Today's video is going to be absolutely wild. We've got a fearless feline facing off against some slithering foes. You won't believe what happens when snakes mess with the wrong cat. Get ready for a jaw-dropping showdown of claws versus scales. Number 20. Sand Cat vs. Desert Snake Sand cats, also known as sand dune cats, are small wild cats that live in sandy and stony deserts far from water sources. These kitties have sandy to light grey fur, which helps them blend in with the desert. During the day, they sleep in caves underground, and at night, they hunt. The Tuareg people in the Tinari Desert say that sand cats are good at killing dangerous snakes. In some places where sand cats live, they often catch horned sand vipers, which are a type of snake. This might seem surprising because sand cats look cute with their fluffy faces. A wildlife expert, Elaine Dregesco Jaff, who studied Sahara animals for 13 years, confirmed that sand cats really are good at killing snakes. Sand cats move in a unique way, keeping their belly close to the ground and running with quick bursts and hops. They can run fast, reaching speeds of 30 to 40 kilometers per hour. Unfortunately, sand cats face threats like hunting and losing their homes due to human activities in some areas. Number 19. Cat Kills Snake Cats are amazing at avoiding danger. They move quickly and skillfully, like a boxer dodging punches. Watch this small cat. It's like a ninja, and even a scaly snake can't catch it. The snake might think the cat is its next meal, but the cat is too fast. Both cats and snakes make hissing sounds. Snakes hiss by pushing air out of a special organ in their throat called the glottis. This helps them breathe and also scares away threats. Small snakes use hissing to seem bigger and scarier. Now, why do cats hiss? Surprisingly, cats imitate snakes when they hiss. Snakes are known as dangerous predators, so cats hiss to scare away anything attacking them. Smart cats hiss forcefully, sometimes spitting saliva. When cats are really defensive, they might hiss and growl like a snake to protect themselves. Some snakes, like the king cobra, also growl, which can be really scary. Number 18. Cat fights with large python. A brave mom cat fought a big python to protect her kittens. We usually see cats taking on small snakes, but this time, the cat faced a really big snake, like a monster python. Some might think a cat has no chance against such a huge snake, but this mom cat proved them wrong. She showed no fear against the mighty python. It's like the story of David and Goliath, but we can't call the cat David because that's a strange name for a female cat. This situation just goes to show that you should never mess with a mother protecting her babies, no matter the species. Pythons live in many places like Sub-Saharan Africa, Nepal, India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Southeast Asia, Southeastern Pakistan, Southern China, the Philippines and Australia. In the United States, Burmese pythons have become invasive in the Everglades National Park since the late 1990s. Most pythons are ambush predators, which means they stay still and hidden before striking at passing prey. Human attacks are rare, but can happen. Pythons have sharp, backward-curving teeth to grip their prey, and they kill by squeezing it. They usually eat animals their size or smaller, like house cats. Some giant Asian pythons have been seen killing adult deer, and African rock pythons have been observed eating antelope. In a shocking incident in 2017, a woman in Sulawesi, Indonesia, was swallowed by a python. Pythons eat their prey whole, and digestion can take many days or even weeks. Number 17. Small cat kills a snake. Look at this small cat. It seems like it's in trouble with a green snake wrapped around it like a baby python. But when you look closer, you'll see that the cat has the snake's neck in its sharp teeth. The cat can easily pull the snake off and maybe share it with its cat friend who's checking things out. Cats are natural hunters, even if it doesn't always seem that way. They explore and catch potential prey. Do cats keep snakes away and protect your home? Yes, but not always. While snakes see cats as predators, having a cat nearby doesn't guarantee that snakes will stay away. 
If the snake senses rodents, frogs, or birds nearby, it might still approach. Cats are curious and like to hunt rodents, birds, squirrels, and sometimes snakes. Number 16. Bullcat Kills Rattlesnake In a video by photographer Robert Martinez, a bullcat is seen killing a rattlesnake on a trail in the Angeles National Forest in San Fernando, California. It's a fierce battle, but the bullcat eventually wins. After defeating the snake, the bullcat does a victory dance and gets ready for a meal of spicy spaghetti. The bullcat is a medium-sized North American cat that lives in various environments, from woodlands to deserts and urban areas. It's a skilled predator, hunting animals like insects, chickens, geese, rodents, and deer. Despite facing threats from coyotes and domestic animals, bullcats can still be found in some of their historical habitats. Number 15. Cat Fights Viper this is a story about a brave cat fighting with a snake on the street. They fought for seven minutes, and it looked like they were evenly matched. The cat hit the snake with its paw and kept a safe distance. The snake tried to bite back, but the cat was quick and careful. After a while, the cat got tired of the fight and decided to finish it. The cat bit the snake many times, and even though the snake tried to escape, the cat finally caught it. The cat took the snake's head in its mouth and went under a car to eat it as its afternoon snack. Number 14. The Cat Fights Cobra Teacher Jackie Chan Let me tell you about a cool movie with Jackie Chan. In one of his early films called Snake in the Eagle's Shadow, there's a scene where a cat fights a snake. Jackie Chan's character watches his cat face off with a cobra. At first, we're not sure if the cat killed the snake or if it was already dead. This battle inspires Jackie Chan's character to mix cat and snake moves in his martial arts skills. This movie introduced Jackie Chan's funny kung fu style, and it set the foundation for many other martial arts films. During filming, Jackie Chan had some challenges. He lost a tooth when a co-actor accidentally kicked him in the face. Also, his arm got cut by a blade that was supposed to be dull. Despite the injuries, he did better than the snake in the movie. Number 13. Serval via Snake South Africa In this video, we see a wild cat called a serval fighting with a snake. The serval hits the snake many times on its head, which is going to give the snake a bad headache. The serval is a type of cat from Africa. It's not common in some parts of North Africa and the Sahel, but it's common in sub-Saharan Africa except in rainforests. The serval lives in protected areas where hunting is either not allowed or limited. The serval hunts alone and eats rodents, small birds, frogs, insects, and reptiles. It uses its good hearing to find prey. When hunting, the serval can jump over two meters in the air, land on its front feet, and then bite the neck or head of its victim to kill it. Snakes get hit harder, and sometimes the serval even bites them first. The serval might swallow snakes while still moving. For larger prey like birds, the serval catches them after a sprint and a jump. Sometimes, servals hide big kills in leaves and grass to eat later. Before eating rodents, they remove internal organs and pull feathers from birds. In simple words, you shouldn't mess with a serval. Number 12. Pet Cat Stands Guard Against Cobra a cat in the city of Pubeneshwar protected its owner's family from danger. The cat, named Chinu, stopped a cobra from entering the house for over 30 minutes. This shows that cats can be good companions, like dogs. The incident happened in the Pimatanji neighborhood where Sampad Kumar Purita and his family live with their beloved cat Chinu. One day, around midday, a snake entered Purita's house from the backyard. Chinu quickly went to the garden to confront the four-foot-long snake. They fought, but Chinu didn't move from his spot. Purita called the snake helpline for help. Arun Kumar Barrel, a volunteer, arrived and saw that Chinu had been defending the house for 30 minutes. Arun chased Chinu away and safely removed the cobra, preventing anyone from getting seriously hurt. Arun mentioned that even though the cobra could have harmed the cat, Chinu showed courage in facing the dangerous creature. 
This proves that cats and dogs are loyal pets willing to protect their owners and families. Number 11. Python constricts Leopard as it fights back. A big snake and a leopard had a rare fight in a safari park in Kenya. The snake tried to beat the leopard, but the leopard won in the end. In a video from Kenya's Masai Mara Triangle Reserve, the leopard and the snake were looking at an impala. Suddenly, the snake decided to attack the leopard instead. The leopard was surprised at first, but it fought back. The leopard jumped and swiped at the snake with its big paws. The snake tried to wrap around the leopard, but eventually gave up. People watching thought the leopard would be eaten, but it managed to drag the snake away. The leopard bit the snake's head, making a loud crunching sound. A wildlife photographer named Mike Welton captured the fight and described it as thrilling. Number 10. Cats team up to attack snake. Cats usually like to be alone, but when there's a snake around, they team up. In Ohio, USA, two cats and a dog work together to deal with a snake they found in their yard. Normally, cats can be on their own or live in groups, especially when there's enough food. In these groups, one cat is usually in charge. Each cat has its own space, and male cats have bigger territories than females. Cats mark their territories by spraying urine, rubbing items with scent glands on their heads, and leaving droppings. There are neutral zones where cats can meet without fighting. Outside these zones, dominant cats try to scare away unfamiliar cats with hissing and growling. If that doesn't work, they may get into short, aggressive fights. Cats don't usually work together or hunt in groups, but when there's a threat like a snake, they can be cooperative. This shows that, even though they prefer to be alone, they can team up to defend themselves. Number 9. Golden Snake vs. White Cat Look at this white kitty. It's not scared of snakes, even though many animals are afraid of them. This video shows a snake trying to climb a tree, thinking it has an advantage. But guess what? Cats are really good at climbing trees too. The snake in the video is called the Golden Flying Snake. It's also known as a call you bred snake, and you can find it in Southeast Asia and Southern Asia. What makes it special is that it can glide from one place to another. People like to keep them as pets because they look cool and can glide. The snake is not very venomous, which means its bite is not very harmful. Even though it's not as amazing as the paradise flying snake, the golden tree snake can still glide smoothly from tree to tree. These snakes are great climbers, moving easily on branches and even straight up trees. They might run away if you bother them, but be careful because they might bite if you touch them. Number 8. Savannah Cat vs. Snake Johan, the F3 Savannah Cat, saw a black racer snake on the back patio. The snake went into the bushes and will probably not come back near the patio because of the impressive looking cat. So, what is a Savannah Cat? It's a mix of a regular cat and a serval, a wild cat. People started breeding them in the late 1990s, and in 2001, the International Cat Association officially recognized them as a new breed. Savannah cats are tall and slim, making them look bigger than they really are. They are known for being loyal to their owners, following them around the house. Some can even be taught to fetch or walk on a leash, when savannah cats see strangers, some are friendly, while others might hide or make noises. How they behave often depends on how much they were exposed to people and other pets when they were kittens. Number 7. Cat Eating Snake A hungry cat was caught on camera eating a dead snake in Japan. The cat fought with a snake and managed to kill it. Two other cats watched and wanted to eat it too. The cat bit off the snake's head and ate its body. The snake was a dangerous kind, but the cat didn't get hurt. A person named Coco saw this happen on her university campus. She was surprised because the cat is usually friendly. Coco said the cat liked the taste of the snake more than her ice cream. After eating, the cat took a nap. Coco felt bad for the snake and hopes it rests in peace. Normally, cats catch rats and mice, but this cat usually behaves nicely. Coco found the cat with the snake, and the snake already had no head. It looked scary. 
The snake might have been poisonous, but the cat didn't seem affected. Another cat was watching and growling. Usually, they are friends and play together. In this case, the cat won in a contest against the snake. Many people find the video of this event shocking. Number 6. Cat becomes confused. A cat saw a long snake coming out of a toad's mouth. The cat was confused and sniffed the snake. In a video, the cat approached the snake many times and used its paw to touch it. The snake hissed back. People in the background laughed as they watched. The cat avoided getting attacked by the snake at one point. It's not clear if the snake got out of the toad's mouth or was eaten. The strange situation was recorded in Thailand, but the exact place is unknown. Number 5. Cats struggle with snake. This short video shows a cat in Japan fighting with a small snake. We don't know who won, but it doesn't look good for the snake. Cats can be scared of snakes, but they are good friends with people. Long ago, in Africa, people tamed wild cats. The oldest proof of this was found near a cemetery in southern Cyprus, dating back to 7500 to 7200 BC. The evidence suggests that cats came to the island from the Middle East, probably because people brought them. Scientists think that early farmers and cats helped each other. Cats kept away rodents like mice and humans gave them food. Over time, cats and people became friends. Even today, domesticated cats still have some wild behaviors and can live on their own. Wild cats might have been ready to become pets because of their size, friendly nature, body language, love for play and intelligence. Number 4. The Snake and the Cats This snake is having a tough time because three cats are bothering it. The small tabby cat overcomes its fear and catches the snake for dinner. Cats have interesting retractable claws that they can pull in and out. These claws are covered by skin and hair when not in use. This helps them sneak up on prey quietly. Cats can extend their claws for hunting, self-defense, climbing, or gripping soft surfaces. Scratching hard surfaces wears down their claws. Most cats have five claws on their front paws and four on their back paws. The dew claw looks like a sixth finger and helps prevent slipping when jumping. Number 3. King Cobra vs Cat Look at this small and brave kitty facing a big King Cobra. The King Cobra is the longest venomous snake in the world, with an average length of 3.18 to 4 meters. Usually, it likes to eat other reptiles like rodents and lizards. The King Cobra shows its anger by puffing up its neck flap, lifting its head and hissing like other cobras and mambas. Even though it seems scary, the King Cobra doesn't like to bother humans. It only attacks when it's provoked and can strike from far away and high up. Instead of biting and running away, it might hold on and inject a lot of venom, causing a big problem. In places like India, Sri Lanka and Myanmar, people have stories and myths about this snake. It's truly a fascinating creature. Number 2. Siamese Cat Snake Fight Look at this video of a snake trying to fight a Siamese cat. The cat is like a ninja and easily defeats the snake. Siamese cats are a special kind of cat that was recognized in the 19th century. They became very popular in Europe and North America. Siamese cats have blue almond-shaped eyes, a triangular head, big ears, and a slim and strong body. There are different variations of Siamese cats with unique color patterns. These cats are known for being friendly and smart. They like being around people and are called extroverts. Siamese cats can get very attached to one person, even as adults. They are playful and energetic, and some even have a loud voice, earning them the nickname Miser. Number 1. Cat vs. Snake Don't be tricked by the small size of this fluffy cat. It has sharp claws to handle the snake, which looks like a dangerous mamba. The cat is on the ground now, but usually it likes to sit up high. Domestic cats catch their prey by jumping from a high place, like a tree branch. Being up high can also help them hide while hunting. Another reason for being high up is that it gives the cat a good view of its prey. 
Cats are good at balancing and can turn themselves around if they fall from a high spot, landing on their feet. This is called the cat writing reflex. Cats have lots of movable whiskers, especially on their faces. These whiskers help them navigate and feel things around them. They can sense the width of gaps and where things are in the dark by touching them. Cats also have a blink reflex to protect their eyes. After seeing many animals take down snakes, maybe you're not as scared of them. Which animal did you like the most? Let us know. Also, check out more cool stuff on the screen. See you next time.